When it comes to the shortest player in basketball history, you might think of Isaiah Thomas or Maxi Bokes, but there's actually one guy who is even shorter than them, and that is Daniel Rogers. He stands at 5 feet and 2 inches or 167 centimeters and currently plays for the University of Maryland. The crazy part is that he isn't just an unimportant bench warmer, but actually a serious contributor to his team. But how can a guy that size keep up with basketball players more than a foot taller than him? And can he make it to the NBA? This is the story of an undersized player who found his place in the tallest sport in the world. It would be accurate to say Darnell was not gifted with his father's size. Shanta Rogers has some length on Darnell at 5 foot 4. He also was an unforgettable player to anyone who saw him, a George Washington Hall of Famer who led his team to three NCAA tournament appearances in the late 1990s, earning Player of the Year honors in 1999 after averaging 20.7 points, 6.8 assists and 3.6 steals. That's better than Austin Reeves for example. After playing one season in the short-lived International Basketball League, Darnell's father played 10 seasons in France, Italy and Belgium. Daniel accompanied his father throughout their journey, he speaks fluent French, and Shanta's career offered proof that vertical limitations would never be an acceptable excuse. Now let me ask you something, have you ever heard that you just don't have the gifts to pursue a certain sport? Like the height for basketball or the quickness for a sprinter? Well, Rogers heard it too many times to count, but wouldn't let that sit on him. He grew up preferring football and soccer, but chose to focus on basketball later on. From an early age, he played with top athletes who were bigger and older than him, which gave him much needed toughness. Fun fact, Darnell has an older brother, Terrell, who is the family giant at 5'8". He also played professional basketball, but Darnell remains the quickest and most skilled. Just look at him cooking taller players. If you are wondering how Rogers is doing this at his size, don't worry, we're gonna break down his skills later. But first, let's continue with his rise. Darnell attended a high school in South Carolina where he had an incredible career. In his junior season, he averaged 28.2 points, 6.9 assists and 5.1 steals per game. These are basically LeBron's numbers from this season. And yeah, I know it's high school versus NBA, but come on, the guy is 5 foot 2. After the season, Rogers drew the attention of NCAA Division I programs while playing for Chris Paul's Nike Elite Youth Basketball League, alongside future NBA players Harry Giles and Grant Williams. He didn't have many offers as questions about his size and yacht, but Darnell, who was ranked a 3-star recruit, was good enough to pick his father's alma mater, George Washington University. But two years later, he decided to switch and committed to Florida Gulf Coast. Okay, I think it's time to answer our first question. How is Darnell able to compete with players a foot taller than him? Let's first look at his offense. As one could expect, he uses his size to his advantage. He is quicker than most players and uses the speed to blow past defenders. He prefers taking wide driving angles to create space. Sometimes he jumps into his defender to negate their jump and ability to block the shot. Darnell has good explosiveness and combines this with crossovers and spin moves, especially a 180 turn to get ahead of his man. He then follows it up with a quick release, getting the ball in the air as fast as possible around the rim so his defender can recover and block the ball. For long range, Rogers can easily get uncontested threes off as defenders typically leave space because they're afraid of his quick drives. But a guy that size typically gives you a disadvantage on defense, right? Well, yes, but Daniel developed some habits to compensate for that. He jumps earlier than the attacker, so he can even out the vertical distance. He's quite good at anticipating when his man is about to shoot. Furthermore, he has great lateral movement, as he is quick and agile, which enables him to recover fast and stick to his man. Finally, he uses his short height to get many steals on taller players. All this combined makes Rogers able to compete in the highest division of college basketball. Alright, let's quickly finish his college career because there is more to his story. But first, another fun fact. The shortest soccer player is Elton Jose Xavier Gomez at 5'1 or 154cm, one inch shorter than Daniel. 
Meanwhile, the shortest NBA player right now is Jordan McLaughlin at 5'11", a whole 9 inches taller. Anyways, at Florida Gulf Coast, Rogers found himself stuck behind veteran guards Brandon Goodwin and Zach Johnson and rarely saw meaningful minutes. So he again swapped schools to New Mexico Junior College in the quest to locate both his rhythm and his confidence. Teams were struggling to put him to good use, just like it was with Isaiah Thomas, until he arrived at Boston. But Darnell always believed in himself and his skills. I'm definitely comfortable with what I am. I can do whatever I want now, so why would I think about being something I'm not? In 2019 he arrived at his final destination, UMBC, a university in Maryland. For the first time since high school, Rogers would finally receive a real, extended chance to show how he could impact a team. He'd finally found a place where he fit in and was welcomed by his teammates and by the school, somewhere he could be himself. Despite receiving little fanfare entering last season, Rogers raised eyebrows by putting up 20 plus points three times in his first seven games there. He became a viral sensation after a video emerged of him running through and around Louisiana's team in a nationally televised contest. In 2019 and 20, Darnell averaged a solid 14 points and 4.3 assists while shooting over 42% from 3. But the most important question still isn't answered. Can he make it to the NBA? Unfortunately not. The shortest NBA player ever, who was Maxi Bogues at 5'3", averaged more points in his final college season and more than twice the amount of assists. And Darnell actually declared for the 2022 NBA draft, but went undrafted. No disrespect to the guy, but his ceiling just isn't high enough. Right now, he's already 26 years old and is not looking to have another breakout season. His offensive skills are one of a kind for a player his size, but they still look pale in comparison to NBA players or even top college players. The problem is that he can compensate for that with incredible passing for example, like Steve Nash, Chris Paul or even Maxi Bogues did. The modern day NBA isn't necessarily built for short players and Rogers would have to raise his game again to reach that level. But despite him not being an NBA player, we have to respect what he has done. Daniel Rogers is smaller than Kevin Hart and still plays basketball at the highest level possible in college. He never lets his genetics define what he can or can't do and always believed in himself. His stature is short, but his mindset is taller and his heart is twice the size. Now, if you want to help me out, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. So now you know about the shortest basketball player ever. But you still don't know about the insane rise of Drew Holiday and how he became the best defender in the NBA. If you want to know more about it, check out this video. Just click on the screen. I'll see you there.